in scriptures, the human body is often referred to as the temple of God. Yet it is quite an uncommon privilege for any soul to attain the sacred abode that houses the divine, as it is truly a blessing to be reborn as a human being. On several occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about the rarity of this phenomenon. To be reincarnated in the human world is hard. You have to have enough human quality. You have to have affinity with the parents, yeah, and with the society, with the people around which you were born. And very difficult. To be a human, you need some merit. You have done something good in the past in order to be able, yeah, <laughs> to be able to pick a human birth. As a living temple of God, the human body is fully equipped with miraculous wonders that can be awakened in those who are spiritually conscious and have complete faith in the Creator of all life. In Adia, Latin for fasting is the human ability to live without food. Since time immemorial, there have always been individuals who can sustain themselves on prana or the vital life force. Through the grace of the providence, in Adiats, people who follow a food-free lifestyle can draw the energy from nature to nourish themselves. They live on the chi, from the ground, or from the forest, and from the sun and from the air. They make use of all that. Or they live on love, on faith alone. These individuals are known as Pratharians, Solarians, Waterians or Pranarians and they come from all walks of life, from different cultures and all corners of the world. Indeed, the possibilities and miracles in this life as our benevolent Creator has designed for us are endless. We only need to connect within to recognize our abounding largesse as God's children. Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly recommended a weekly series on Supreme Master Television to introduce those individuals of the past and present who have chosen to live food free on earth. May their spiritual stories enthrall you, may hearts be opened and horizons be expanded. We now invite you to join us for part one of our program, Dr. Moni Vitor, a lifestyle of true freedom on between master and disciples. This program discusses the possibility of breatharianism or living without eating food and is not a full instruction. For your safety, please do not attempt to cease eating without proper expert guidance. Last week, we traveled to India to meet Sri Sahaj Munji Maharaj, a high-minded Jain monk who lived on prana for one year to promote world peace. Today, we travel to the United States to meet Dr. Moni Vital, author of Life Unlimited and Ageless Living, Freedom from the Culture of Death. Dr. Vital lived food-free for 18 months. You see, breatharianism, the way I see it, mm -hmm. for me it was, it's knowing that I am the boss. I can control who I am. Mm -hmm. As a child, Dr. Vital had the propensity to be a liberal thinker, questioning the world around him. I was born in Iraq. We moved to Israel with my family as a five years old. Mm -hmm. And I grew up there in Israel. Uh, what was life like growing up? Everything is traditions. The tradition is the first words and the last word. And uh, so I opted not to be part of that tradition in a sense, food wise, thinking wise, you know, like behavior wise, too. I was more independent. 
at five even, I mean, at this very young age, I realized that, you know, it's all about uh, conditioning, and I could not accept that conditioning. Even then, growing up, I realized uh, everybody has to be molded by the culture and has to be exactly the same. Otherwise, you're an aberrant, something wrong with you. And, yeah, and uh, so, you know, I took the other way. I always wanted to know what's missing. As a result of his open-mindedness and inquisitive nature, Dr. Vital readily accepted the possibility of a lifestyle without food. I met a friend of mine, her name is Jaz Muhin, mm -hmm. and uh, she wrote a great book called um, uh, Pranic Nourishment, or Living on Light. That's another title for that book. Right. And I read it like five times, and I, everything she says in her book, it's absolutely 100% correct and true. Mm -hmm. Because I lived through that when I quit eating, and I know she's right. Yeah, it was perfect. You know? and so when I met her, uh, and she asked, who's quitting? And I said, I raised my hand, I said, me. She said, one, and I said, today. And that was it. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television, between Master and Disciples will return in just a moment.